we had food that we cooked or something in the fridge and you'd pull it out and there was cigar ash in the, on chicken. the chicken on the fucking chicken i'm like how is there cigar ash everywhere in this whole house <laughs> oh no okay yeah then definitely we're and we all saw his dong way more than we wanted to <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, good. How are you? Good. Are you good. Thanks for talking with me today. I'm like so excited for the new Surreal Life. I remember watching it as a kid and being obsessed with it. So I cannot wait to see you all uh, in that house. So right off the bat, I'm super curious how all of you joined the Surreal Life, what it was that appealed to you about uh, being on the show. So Frankie, you're to my left. Do you want to start us off? Sure. I, I watched the original Surreal Life when it actually aired, you know, in the early 2000s. And I, I don't want to say I hate to admit it. I was definitely obsessed with it. You know, <laughs> it being the first kind of celeb reality show that allowed you to see people outside their comfort zones, film 24 seven, you know, nowhere really to hide. And in that same sense, when they came to me about joining, it scared the heck out of me, you know, because I also know in those previous seasons, there was a lot of drama and a lot of things that happened that, you know, would put me in an uncomfortable situation. But I've over the years, I've done a lot of things that uh, I kind of jump off the deep end to try different things. And, and I felt like this would be one of those things that I'm not in 100 percent control. I don't know who my re- roommates are going to be. I have no idea where they're going to have a stew, but let's do it. And have a cool life experience. And, and I can say I left having an amazing experience and also the craziest experience of my entire life. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to watch it because I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim, you're like nodding your head. <laughs> what was your experience like? How did you come to join it? Well, same thing, you know, you get asked and, and, you know, this is a brand that has been set before and you know what to, you think you know what to expect. And then you say yes. And then there you are, you know, in a van waiting to, you know, <laughs> be introduced into the house and walk in and it's revealed one by one by one who who's going to be there. And, you know, there's a lot that happens early on, you know, there's an establishing of territory and, you know, I'm a woman in menopause. I'm like, I need a room by myself. And I was like, that ain't, that is so not going to happen. And they said that there is one person who likely could get a room by themselves and you'll see how it unfolds. And, and uh, then I get swept up very quickly by two people who were like, come be in a room with us. I'm like, okay, great. I think we're going to, you don't get to, you don't know each other. So how do you know that you can get along? And so it's all the excitement and, you know, all the, you know, sort of knowing yourself and then not knowing anything else and deciding how are you going to show up uh, and, and, and show out. Uh, and so it's exciting. And I think you're going to hear nervousness in our voices. I can't speak for everybody, but it's been over a year since we shot it. So we don't know what to expect. There's oh, stuff. Yeah. I don't even remember what we did. Um, and so you're, we're, we're going to find out together. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and, and Manny, you're next down the line. What was your experience like? How did you come to be on the show? Yeah, for me, so it, the email came in. My manager's like, yo, like they want to cast you. And I was so nervous because I'm like, am I going to be the only social media person? Like I've watched the show before. I'm like, am I going to be in this space where it's like a traditional media space where it's like celebrities in that space and I'm the social media person. I'm like, do I belong here? Like I was <laughs> so nervous in that way. Um, going into it. And I think that in the beginning of the show, like it shows that like I was definitely nervous in my own personal way. And I, for me, I was like, I want to grow from this experience. I want to be in uncomfortable situations. That's when you grow the most, I feel. And so I was like, I want to come out of this feeling like I'm one of the, the bitches, you know, like I'm one of the, I'm one of the boys. I'm one of the girls. Like I'm here with everyone and we're really having this experience together. And there's no like hierarchy of like, Oh, you're a bigger celebrity than me. I wanted us to all feel like we were together in this aspect. And that's kind of why I wanted to do it to feel like, Oh, like I could, I could uh, swim with the big dogs, you know? Yeah. (laughs) And do you feel like that now that the season is wrapped? I do. Good. Done. I was like, thank God y'all have me in the house. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome. Yes, exactly. (laughs) What about you? Yeah, right. (laughs) And Stormy, what about you? I didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do it. (laughs) Why did you? (laughs) I said no repeatedly really? uh, because I'm like the rest of them. And as Kim very much explains, you have to go in these rooms with people you don't know. And you have to go. In. Well, we all know what happened when I, the last time I went into a bedroom with a stranger, yeah. <laughs> like 
didn't work out so well for me. Yeah. Um, still not working out so well. Mm. And I just didn't want, you know, after the four years I've, I've had, I didn't want to put myself in a situation that I could get in more trouble for, mm. or, you know, interrupt or do detriment to the lawsuits and things that I have open. And I just wanted some peace. And how are you going to find peace in a Mexico where you can't be like, I'm leaving and then walk away. They yeah. knew what they were doing. It was almost a hostage situation. Brandon. <laughs> you know? And you don't know who's there. And I'm not really known for biting my tongue. So I just saw, I was like, I'm definitely going to get myself in more trouble. No, 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 no. Mm. And then, you know, they're like, well, it's not like the old way necessarily like this. We really want to focus on your real story. Mm. You know, there's no coaching. There's no scripting. There's no like pitting people against each other because someone's going to win some money or something like there's no reason for anyone not to be their genuine, authentic selves. And this is your chance to, to do that. And I said, well, I wrote a book. They can read it. And it was pointed out, well, how many people do you know that actually in the U.S. that actually read anymore? Um, I'm like, good point, because people are still telling the wrong version of my story and still asking mm-hmm. the same questions. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess I saw it as an opportunity to tell my story my way and to show people that there's other things that I'm not just a porn star. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, if you want people to really pay attention to something, you got to put it on reality TV. That's yeah. What <laughs> that is it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And did it end up being, you know, the horror show that you feared it was, or did it end up being more positive than that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. Well, you know, living with so many different people who are so different from all of you, is there someone who is named like overall best roommate that uh, the house agrees on or overall worst roommate? I think we all agree best is. Frankie. Frankie. Oh, Frankie. I hope everyone would admit that and would give him props for, I'm not sure that everyone paid attention to that the way everyone here did, but absolutely 100% best roommate ever, ever, ever. Just because I'm the one who cleaned the dishes. (laughs) (laughs) That goes a long way. I was like, this is too much. So (laughs) (laughs) thank you. Thank you. (laughs) That's wonderful. Um, Did everyone mesh pretty well in her house or? (laughs) <laughs> yeah was it were there anyone who uh was not so like cleanly or uh pleasant to live with I feel like or... the worst roommate would be dennis dennis <laughs> yeah. how many roommates he yeah got, he got cigar ash inside the refrigerator there'd cigar be no we had like yeah. food we had food that we cooked or something in the fridge and you'd pull it out and there was cigar ash in the, on chicken. the chicken on the f-ing chicken I'm like, how is there cigar ash everywhere in this whole house? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, then definitely worse. And we all saw his dong way more than we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I saw more <laughs> on this than I do on my real job. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the one over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and did any of you, you know, coming in have a different side of yourself that you were really hoping to show? I know, Storm, you kind of touched on that. But did anyone else be like, you know what? People know me as this. I want people to know me a little bit more as this. I think, you know, for me as an actor, like, sure, I've done interviews. You can kind of I kind of let people in a little bit. But really, they know me as a character. Mm-hmm. And so this is the first time you know, even though I've done other kind of reality competition shows or whatever it is, like Dancing with the Stars, it, this is so different because it's, it's truly you living in, a, you know, in a situation you wouldn't normally be in and, and, and you can't hide your true authentic self. So I, 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 I don't know how I'm going to come across on camera. I thought that I was trying to come across a certain way, but I, I like the fact that people might have a better uh, vision of the person that I am outside of the Hollywood character. Yes. Yeah. 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 And everyone will know you're a great roommate. Yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Well, what about uh, you, Kim, Manny, any uh, thoughts about that? You know, I've also done a couple of reality shows. I did Celebrity Fit Club where Mm -hmm. I lost 24 pounds and gained 26 back. Thank you. Uh, (laughs) And a celebrity mole where I was the first one, you know, voted off the island. And so, but again, nothing where, you know, those shows I went home or went back to my hotel room every, every night. This is, mm-hmm. you know, full on, full on. And I was, you know, who knows what we'll see, but I was willing to be seen as 
me. And mm -hmm. I think um, as a comedian, I've had times on stage where you see just me because I'm in control of that. This is a show where I have no control over what you're going to see. I only have control of showing up as myself and, and hoping that that um, translates well on camera. So we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. I well, I, I, yeah, I, I have to wrap up real quickly, but do you have a last thought in like a sentence, Manny? I don't want to leave you out. Oh yeah, no, I, I, could, I couldn't agree more. I was coming in as a social media person. I was like, I want to be able to show the human that I am, not just the Manny MUA beauty yeah. guru. I was like, I want it to be a real person and show that there's so much more to me than just being someone that can pretty. blend eyeshadow. Just a pretty face. That's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Well, thank you so much all for your time. I can't wait to see the new season and I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.